Well, as I'm sure you know, tomorrow we're expecting close to 100 heads of state. 103. Yes, I'm sure that's right. And I suspect they'll make all their own decisions. Based on what? There's a great deal of classified intelligence that I just can't get into. We've intercepted a threat against General de Gaulle from our assets in Geneva. I'm afraid if he refuses to march, others may follow. I understand. As I said, Mrs. Kennedy, I wish there were more we could do to accommodate your wishes. I'm terribly sorry. Don't be. You and the Johnsons have already done so much. Good day, Mrs. Kennedy. Um, Mr. Valenti. Would you mind getting a message to all our funeral guests when they land? Of course. Inform them that I will walk with Jack tomorrow. Alone, if necessary. And tell General de Gaulle that if he wishes to ride in an armored car or in a tank, for that matter, I won't blame him. I and I'm sure the tens of millions of people watching won't either. Why are you doing this, Mrs. Kennedy? I'm just doing my job. Jacqueline Kennedy is one of the American icons. Her story is a story everyone knows. So it's interesting and involving that the new film, Jackie, based on an aspect of her life, was directed not by an American, but by a top Chilean director, a man named Pablo Lorraine. He's known to international film fans as a director of a film called No. He's got a forthcoming film called Neruda about the great Chilean poet Pablo Neruda. He's a very smart, thoughtful, unexpected director, and he's done a really splendid job here, focusing on the week in Jacqueline Kennedy's life between the assassination in Dallas and the funeral for her husband, President John F. Kennedy. This is a smart film. It stars. Natalie Portman as Jackie Kennedy. Pablo Lorraine said he wouldn't do the film unless Natalie Portman starred in it. She does a wonderful job showing us aspects of Jackie Kennedy we might not have known before. In a sense, pulling back the curtain and showing us her fears, her desires, her aspirations, why she acted the way she did. This is a thoughtful, unexpected film, really worth your time. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.